Mastering Your Pickup Game, uh, Volume 3 and 4, by pickup artists known as Mask. What's up, guys? So, you want to go from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and uh, score the hottie of your dreams? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, first off, tailor your game based on ethnicity. If I'm talking to a black girl or a Hispanic girl, my game is totally different from if I'm talking to a white girl. Simple and plain, okay? You got to custom tailor it. They appreciate that. Example, I just told this super hottie, level 10 hottie, okay? Just told their Puerto Rican, I said, hey, yo, come out with me. I'll get you a big pun ringtone. So it doesn't sound like much, but to, you know, a girl from the block, that's, that's honey talking. Part two, part two of your pickup game. Eat lots of dairy products. <laughs> Part three of your pickup game. Uh, fuck. This was really funny and I forgot it. <sighs> fuck you. Well, part three of your pickup game. You can never go wrong, independent of race, with a bag, with a tote bag, with a paper tote bag full of locally picked apples. These are macoon. These are pronounced macoon apples. She doesn't need to know that. You can tell her they're honey sweet dill pickle apples. She'll be fine. Girls don't pay attention to details like that. They just see a bag of apples and they go wild. Start getting wet. <laughs> wet it up. Wet it up for me, ladies. I just got, hey, I'm coming in with two Orchards Farm Select apple totes. Wet it up for me. Wet it up. Wet it up for me. Girls, pumpkin and squash are in season. Let's get it wetted up. This is the hottest thing. Part four. Women are uh, intensely visual, so they're going to notice <laughs> that you're fucking butt ugly. So you have to trick them with a little wet it up for me, girls. Girls, hey. <laughs> you girls just got out of high school? Wet it up for me. Okay, now I remember what I was thinking before. Part four. Pickup game. Mask. That's me. Part four, my part four, my airtight, die-hard, lockdown pickup game. This is a secret. Um, okay, so we all know Hollywood. Uh, they put little messages in movies to condition us. All right, Barack Obama's presidency was sold originally by Danny Glover in Lethal Weapon. We all know how that went down. Um, so you got to capitalize. You can take advantage of that. You can use their propaganda system. Um, you can take, you can borrow, you can take the R&D from, that the government and Hollywood and they've done, you can take their research and development and sort of bankroll that into your own thing, okay, it's free, take advantage of it, it's like, uh, it's like a NASA aerospace program for your pickup game, now what do I mean by this, now, <laughs> how do we put this into action, what do we do, um, fuck, now I forgot the funny part, fuck, um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, another Hollywood trope. Get in the car with me if you want to live! Come with me if you want to live! How many times have we all heard that? A lot, plenty, and we always know how that works out. If she doesn't get in the car, she doesn't live. P point blank, period. <clears throat> now, this is a lot different from uh, simply going up to somebody and saying, Hey, you need a ride? Because that is another movie, another movie thing, and we know how that works out every time. Guess what? You're getting a serrated Rambo knife in your pussy. Okay, nobody wants that. Um, so we go with the first one. Get in the car with me if you want to live. Get in if you want to live. If uh, you want to add a little bit of embellishment, a little detail to that, um, to sort of enhance the the illusion uh, you could add a name I always pick a cool name like John Matrix or John Connor or John uh, Cena or John John um, oh yeah another one always you can tell people listen this one this works on uh, girls from foreign countries more. You go up and you say, 
Relax. Re- relax, I'm FBI. Relax, I'm CIA. Relax, I'm CIA. And then you can just basically, after that, you can say whatever you want. Okay? That's, uh, after that, you just wrote your own ticket, my friend. Hope you enjoy the ride you're about to go on. It's a, it's a bumpy one. <laughs> Take it from a player like such as myself. Uh, I've been on that ride before, and it is worth it. Um, all right, I guess that's it for my pickup vlog, artist vlog for today. Just remember, wet it up. <laughs> wet it up, girls. What else can I show you in my room that's funny? Hmm. It's all pathetic. It would, if I showed you any of my personal effects, you'd think I was a pathetic loser.